at least. Yep, I'm happy too. Both players are ready, we're starting the game! This is exciting because it's, like we said, the final game, second attempt. Uh, we're getting there, we're getting there eventually. Um, right. <laughs> and uh, like we said, this is the deciding game. There's no way that um, uh, after this game there will be more games because it's the last one. The right, the score is tied 2-2-2, two to two, so we'll see who advances uh, to this third place spot, which, uh, which will... Uh, uh, give him a nice, nice mouse. <laughs> yeah, indeed. The gaming mouse goes to the third place, uh, like it goes to the second and first place as well. Uh, and fourth place winner will get a GOM TV season ticket for this or the next season of the GSL, which is also right. a nice prize, if you ask me. Of course, um, of course. It's also very, very nice. So, um, well, um, um, I don't know if um, they spawn... Oh, of course, they spawn on the same positions, because this is uh, Daybreak. Yep. So you can only spawn in one position. And uh, we see Noretic sending out a scouting probe right away. He's not even waiting for his pylon. Uh, that is an early probe indeed. And uh, oh. he's not <laughs> taking the short. He's not taking the shortest route, I think, to his opponent. Or is he? Is this the shortest um, route? I think it actually doesn't really uh, matter which way you go. But um, I think he wants to avoid this overlord that's um, passing through the center right now. Mm -hmm. And that's very smart. Um, yeah, this probe could really be up to something. And in the meantime, uh, <laughs> B-Black is also going for something cheesy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a cheese fest. Okay, so we see a six pool versus a proxy something. It's going to be... I think it's going to be gateways. What do you think? It's not going to be cannons or anything down there. I think it's going to be gateways as well, in which case we probably will see uh, uh, a base trade because um, these zealots are never s uh, quick enough to return home. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't think the zerklings can handle all the zealots. So, well, yeah. we'll have to see how this uh, ends. Yeah, and the thing is that uh, Protoss now has, because he has split up his base, uh, he's kind of made a. Uh, He's kind of made some kind of security for himself because uh, even if his, if Zerglings are killing the Nexus from Neretic, he still has these other two buildings, and Zerg can simply not build buildings easily in other places of the map, at least not uh, you know apart from hatcheries and, uh, and extractors. Um, right. So Neretic might have a bit of an advantage there, but he's now going to find out that he's actually going to go up against the six pool, and he sees the Zerglings going, and B-Black's like, "Sup? I'm doing yeah, six pool yeah. again, baby." <laughs> but B-Black doesn't know that there are actually zealots coming from uh, Neretic uh, <laughs> in a in a while, but he's going to find out soon enough when uh, these Zerglings get into the base of B-Black, uh, Neretic. Um, actually, is, could Neretic maybe try to wall this off or his front, or no. would it be pointless? Ner oh, Neretic. Sorry, I was looking at it. I do miss aesthetic noise, <laughs> says B-Black, because of course during the finals they've been playing with white noise on their head. Uh, but a wall of, yeah, he might attempt it, but I'm not sure, unfortunately right now he doesn't have the minerals. The first two zealots, I wanted to say no, but the first zealot and a probe are now moving up into the base of B-Black. Right, so he's and there's know more zealots coming, to. but, uh, oh, and this is oh. some great micro here from Neretic yeah. trying to save his probes. Um, and this oh. is going to be really tricky. It's gonna be pretty tricky, but I, I yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think that these uh, probes are gonna be able to take on the Zergling. So the probes are running now, um, and in the, B Black is right in thinking that there's a proxy. And of course, there we go. There's a surround of the Zealot by the drones from B Black, and but the Zealot goes down with help from the Queen. And now there's a spine crawler too. So this second Zealot, they better hurry up, and do some damage because uh, as soon as the spine crawler finished, there's not gonna be much Zealotage to be done. Right, and uh, because of this one spine crawler. Um it's gonna be really hard uh, for, uh, <laughs> for Neretic. <laughs> Neretic says uh, fourth prize is the better one. I guess he, he, he'd rather guess have the Gum TV season ticket than the. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he, he really doesn't play that much. He just likes to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's there's the thing. I think uh, I think Neretic, yeah basically lost there. That's GG. Wow, those were some very very quick games, everybody. <laughs> those were really really quick, but um, oh, it's a really funny way to. Um, to end the series, I think. <laughs> so B Black uh, is in the, the is the third place, the bronze winner of the uh, NSSL, and Eretic takes fourth place. Also very very well considering we had uh, 72 participants. So uh, I think both of these guys can be very really really proud of what they have achieved. Um, so I'm uh, <laughs> Eretic also uh, glad. Um, I'm now asking them if they have Skype. If so, then we can have them on Skype for just one final player interview uh, to see how they're doing. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add um, Baudevain or B Black to the group conversation right now. You might be showing up in just a little bit, and I'm gonna be adding Neretic too. So let's just see what happens. 
they might be joining us at any time now. Right. This will be uh, really interesting <laughs> to see. <laughs> <laughs> These were some unorthodox strategies, for sure. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. All right, Badovan is coming, actually. I had to plug in his mic. And, uh, yeah, wow. Well, this is that. Well, that was so quick. We we started. What, when did we start? <laughs> like twenty minutes. Like at ago. Uh, nine o'clock or quite, yeah, nine o'clock. We so we started. So it was like twenty five minutes later. Wow. Hello. Ah, hey. 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 What's up? Pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're up. Uh, th those were some really really quick games. Yeah, yeah, they were. <laughs> I I kind of booked more time for for this evening to to play the games, but. Well. <laughs> 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 yeah, you didn't have to catch the train, or maybe you had an appointment <laughs> no, with no, no, a no. nice girl or something. Not that much, no, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're also waiting for Robin. Robin, yes. Wait, what's going on? I've just clicked something, and now it says something. No, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, well, congratulations, B-Black. You've, you've gotten third place in the NSSL. Did you think, yes. did you, did you think that you'd be getting third place when you, when you started, like, like way in January when you met up for the first time and you, uh, you said you'd want to be a tournament admin? Yeah, no, no, uh, I actually figured I'd probably lose in the second uh, group stage. Hmm. That was kind of what I was aiming for. Uh, but then I made it uh, through to the, to the quarterfinals, and then I suppose I was going to lose then because I was playing some high master protest guy. And then I won again, and well, here I am. <laughs> Starcraft, <laughs> man, you never know. You never life, know. Yeah. Will you be uh, participating in the Dutch Starcraft League too? Of course I will. Of course I will. Awesome. That's awesome indeed. Um, uh, in the meantime, an heretic says that his headset is not working. Oh, maybe ah. it's reconnecting right now. But he said, uh, "I think nobody of uh, us wanted to win." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but well. like uh, because you you went for six pools, both the, both the games. So right. we it, you can't really say that it was his fault that the games were really short. So, so no, the, the thing was mm -hmm. when we was when we were uh, picking maps back at the live finals. Mm -hmm. uh, the first map that he uh, vetoed was Tall Dream. Ah. So I figured there's something he fears on Tall Dream. I don't know what, but uh, one of the options would be a quick six pool because it's difficult to scout on that map. So I decided to, to go with it, uh, and it didn't work out. But then I figured, well, you never expect me to do it twice, so I might <laughs> as well try it again. <laughs> <laughs> that is some serious meta gaming right there. <laughs> yes. yes, it is. Yes, it is. So um, yeah. this first game, you just decided, oh, well, I don't think he'll be a six, uh, expecting a six pool? Well, I thought he feared something on top of the rim, either six pool or a baning bus. I don't know what he feared, but I figured that's one of the easy options to go with, so I might as well try it. I'm up to one, so, you know, care. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You had a bit of a luxurious position. Yeah, uh, you but, can, uh, can afford to lose a game. That, that's true. Uh, and yeah, you actually won the second one, so... Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah, we, we liked that it went to an ace match. 2-2 two, two in the very, very last match of the Just like the finals. Same with the finals, yeah. Exactly. exactly. So we had some awesome third place match in finals. That was uh, exciting. Hey, uh, yeah. about it, did you hear about the uh, the Dutch Starcraft League and the new format that we've uh, thought up for it? I did not. No, because uh, yeah, it, it's it's uh, you wouldn't have because uh, I thought it up like a couple of days back. But <laughs> no, the thing no, is, because I, uh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I thought though, yeah. I, I thought we were gonna do like mass group stages like we did with the NSSL. Uh, so just everybody in groups of four people play it out and then on to the next group stage. Uh, yeah, right. That would yeah. mean that there would be lots of games for everyone. Uh, mm -hmm. But that would also mean that there would be so much planning and emailing involved uh, that yes. would basically be impossible to, to manage. So what we're going to do now is mm -hmm. we're going to have, say, a fixed number of 128 or 265, uh, 56 uh, people in a final bracket or group stages to into bracket. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, yeah. And before that, there's going to be uh, just qualifiers. Uh, about 20 evenings in the start of 2013, or, or lots of dates anyway. And on each of those dates, you can just show up, uh, sign into the uh, the ESL system, uh, and just play a, a single bracket for that night, and earn points, qualification points. Uh, and so okay. the, the number one winner of every qualifier gets a, gets a direct seed into the tournament, and all the mm -hmm. other people uh, in the brackets get points. And so when all the qualifiers are done, we're just listing them up, all the people and the total points that they've earned, and the top 128 or 256, uh, 65, uh, 56, damn it. Um, yeah. <laughs> they just get into the final stage of the Dutch StarCraft League. 
So that's basically right, that. Yeah, right. and it's so much easier to to manage because you just say, well, whoever shows up can get qualification points. If don't qualify, right. you won't get any points, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. And uh, and and this that's way, like it's, and this way is also nice for uh, players of a very high caliber to join in uh, because uh, they probably have one of those aids available or one or two, uh, and mm -hmm. there's a high chance that they'll get very far in one of those qualifications. Uh, right. So right. they won't have to participate in each one of them in order to get into the the final tournament. Uh, right. And right. if they, you know. If a player like Rhett, for instance, would have wanted to join in the, the Dutch Starcraft League uh, in the old format, he would have had to play through like loads of group stages against Right, Basler. right, right. So yeah. that and been, now he uh, can just yeah. piece to one qualifier and own everyone and just go home. Yeah, yeah right. that's yeah. basically he, he basically only needs one qualifier if he if he wins it. So, but it also supports the people who uh, who like to persevere, who maybe just don't get this first place spot every time, but maybe right. manage right. to get second or third or fourth, mm -hmm. uh, and they manage to get uh, a lot of points that way and uh, still qualify. Yeah, you can and compensate for being bad by being always present. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> by being always bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's how I win the uh, the like the the overall tournament of the, uh, the cycling oh, that's, that's the cycling society. Right. I just show up every time. <laughs> well, that's the thing <laughs> because I'm also gonna award points for just showing up and participating. So everybody who, who joins in one of those qualifiers gets points. So if you get out every time, you might just get enough points anyway. <laughs> just, by just yeah. by Frank is so <laughs> generous with his points. If you just <laughs> smile to Frank nicely, he will give you points. Points for you, you man. Points. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if Frank, here's a cappuccino. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, you want some <laughs> points? <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. Okay. Hey, did you guys look at the photos that are on the website? Yes. Yes, awesome. Pretty cool photos, huh? huh? Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, we have some photos of uh, of Bauwein playing, being mm -hmm. very concentrated. Yep. Yeah. Probably also doing a six pool. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> and that guy, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. I also saw the picture of, um, I think, the Apollo and DJ Vita. I'm not sure. Yep. But uh, DSL sign of uh, DSL. Pretty cool. That was huh? Awesome. Because I, I was at DreamHack and I was like, so what can I do here that will promote the Dutch Starcraft League? So what uh -huh. I did was walk around all day in a bathrobe or in my, uh, you know, my camera right, and, yeah. uh, So everybody noticed me, and okay. then I made a sign that said Dutch Starcraft League with the URL on it, and I went up to the like uh, famous casters or other famous people and just said, "Could you endorse the Dutch Starcraft League on video?" So and they did it. So I got them on nice. tape. I got Apollo and DJ Wheat saying that all the Dutch should just join in and participate, you know, get over their ladder anxiety and just go into the tournament. And I've got <laughs> uh, cool. In Control and Kaldor doing the same. And I've got uh, James Harding, too good, doing the same too. He, he's great because he's like, so I ask if he wants to do this because I see him walking out of the player lounge and like walking up to him. He's like, well, you could, he's going for a smoke. So I'm like, oh, right. could, you, could you do this? And he says, sure, sure. So I start filming and he says, well, so this is the Dutch StarCraft League and I should be endorsing it, but I have no other reason except that the guy who's uh, <laughs> organizing it is batshit crazy and he's wearing a bathrobe and if I don't tell you this, he's going to kill me. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> so he's all too good style. 2 GD all the way. Yeah, yeah exactly. So that's really cool. Right. And uh, yeah, I've spoken to a lot of people there, uh, like top players. And uh, for, have, you, have you seen any of the games from, uh, from Dreamhack uh, Summer? Almost all of them, yes. Uh, you, you've seen the, the Hearthstone games then? The what games? The games from Harstom, the Dutch player. Yeah, right. Yeah, he got pretty far. Actually, he got really yeah, far. Yeah, he was yeah. amazing. He was in the bus with us, and we we're like, "Yeah, well, first group phase, second group phase, maybe, you know." And then he, in the second group phase, he's in the group with Lelesh and Thorzane, and he three O's the group. Right. Yeah. And we're like, saw, what yeah. the fuck? And then he's in the quarterfinals yeah. or in the eighth finals. Uh, yeah. So we were, and it was amazing because you know we were sitting right behind him, cheering on and uh, making signs, and you know, it, was, it was really cool. And uh, actually, um, after his game against. Um, uh, Freyr, which he lost, unfortunately, but really close games with the base trade and stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, actually, someone came up to him. He's like, "Well, I, I forgot who it was. It was one of the players from Team Acer." And he's like, "Well, you should give uh, send an email in a couple of days to this address. Uh, you know, maybe join Team Acer." <laughs> nice. Mm. So he, he got That's scouted awesome. right away. That was cool. That's a way to wow. get noticed, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 If you get that far in, in a big tournament, of course you get noticed. Yeah. 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 It's really cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, Red. Um, <laughs> He's also like 18 or something, isn't he? He's 17, actually, yeah. 17, oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, so young. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. He was like, he, he, he smuggled us into the player lounge all the time. Because there was this, like, a separate <laughs> player lounge on the balcony, and uh, we went up to it. Of course, we all had like a, a regular wristband for normal visitors. 
Right. He's, we went up to them, and the guys on the counter is like, "Are you all players?" No, 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 we're with him. He's like, "Yeah, he's he, there. There was me. There was me." And they were all inside. <laughs> and then there's ladies there walking around saying, "Do you want a back massage? You want something to drink?" And like, no, 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 we're good. really, you got a back massage? No, no, no you, you could get massages there. Of course, we didn't. Oh my god, why didn't you have yeah, one? <laughs> we, we didn't. We didn't want to impose. You know, like, we were sitting there, it, right next to us. Were Stefano and 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 White Rat sitting down there, and right, like, right. The, 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 it was awesome just sitting there. Between all those Starcraft gods, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. Well, maybe we can try to um, to uh, emulate the same kind of sphere, uh, the same kind of atmosphere with uh, uh, the Dutch Starcraft League next year. Definitely, yeah, it's going to be an awesome event, and uh, maybe we'll have show matches from international pros too at the event. Who Shoot. knows? We Who knows? So definitely right. join in. I do have a question though. Uh, the pictures on the website. Yeah. You can't seem to save them because Flickr is copywriting all of them. Is there a way to, to actually download is them? Flickr, right, so there's pictures that are actually just that are right on the website. You can just download them. Yeah, of course. And then yeah. there's the Flickr stream. I think uh, this particular Flickr stream, I've uh, I've I was able to just view the full screen picture and download it. So this oh, one is I'm not protected, not. I think. Huh. Uh, but anyway, if you if you if there's any of those pictures ah. on Flickr that you want. And you no, that's true. If you just click on the an actual yeah. image, uh, yeah. like an actual size, you can you can download them. But if yeah. you just try to save the standard one, uh, mm -hmm. it won't allow you. No, that one doesn't okay. work. And but but yeah. uh, but this uh, Yop guy hasn't uh, hasn't protected his photos, so you can just uh, nah. come in and do it. And of course, if you if you if you can't figure it out, and you want one of the photographs, or you need an even bigger format, just send me an email, <laughs> and I'll make sure that um, it gets through. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. Well, th that's it for the NSSL. Right. That's Unbelievable. That's, yeah. That's it for the NSSL. Yeah. Whew. Last game ever. Last game ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush any longer. You guys, thank you very much. I will see you at the Dutch StarCraft League next year, on, uh, maybe at the bed, in the, during the beta tournament that will be in 2012. And uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to be going downstairs to my girlfriend, who is uh, studying <laughs> really hard, so she, she's probably needing some distraction uh -huh. right now. All right, you go give her some uh, distraction. All you're, right, you're, you're, so you're, hap you're, you're happy you're back in uh, the Netherlands now, uh, Frank. Netherlands, woo! Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right, you guys. Goodbye, NSSL. <laughs> bye bye. bye. <laughs> See you later.